Now let's take a look at Official Guide 2016 PS number one. Now, as you can see from the question, the price of a code in a certain store is $500, and the price is to be reduced by $150. So the result price would be $350. And the question states, the price of the code is to be reduced by 150 and it asks what by what percent is the price to be reduced so we can get the percentage by dividing 150 by 500 so dividing the numerator and denominator by 5 we get 30 over 100 like this and this is 0.3 so 0.3 equals 30% and the correct answer choice would be E. We're on Official Guide 17, Problem Solving Section, Question Number 2. So here we're dealing with converting dollars into euros and then converting it back into dollars again. So first we have dollars and euros. It says a dollar, each dollar is worth 0 0.8 euros. Now we're trying to figure out how much $500 is worth in euros. So let's call it X. If we take the inner numbers and the outer number, we know that X is equal to 0 0.8 times 500, which is equal to 400. So now we have 400 euros, and we spent 3 fourths of it. So the amount spent is 400 euros times 3 over 4, which is equal to 300. So the remaining amount is 400 euros minus 300 euros. So this is equal to 100. And now we're converting it back into dollars. And the new rate is dollar to euro is equal to, for each euro, we get 1.2 dollars. Now we have 100 euro, so we're trying to get how much it's worth in dollars. So y here is equal to 1.2 times 100. And this is equal to $120. So choice D is our answer. Now let's take a look at the Official Guide 2016 PS number 2. As you can see from the question, we have 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2 minus 5 over 6 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 4 minus 9 over 20. So we can rewrite this as 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2 minus 5 over 6 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 4 minus 9 over 20. So we can rewrite this again. 5 over 6 minus 5 over 6 plus 9 over 20 minus 9 over 20. So this is 0 plus 0. So the answer is 0. And the correct answer choice is A. Now let's take a look at Official Guide 2016 PS number 3. As you can see from the question, the question states the age of Rebecca today is 34 and the age of her daughter is 8. So if we designate the year must be passed before Rebecca's age is twice her daughter's age as Y like this. Then we can obtain an equation like this. 34 plus y equals 2 times 
8 plus y. Then 34 plus y equals 16 plus 2y. And 34 minus 16 equals 2y minus y. So basically 18 equals y and the correct answer choice would be C. We're on Official Guide 2017 version in the PS section, question number 5. Here we have three different units, miles to hours and also gallons. Now, for 32 miles, it takes one hour and for one hour it spends 24 gallons. Now we can combine these two equations and get miles to gallons. So we know that 32 miles would equal 24 gallons. Now the question is asking for how many miles it would travel for one gallon. So to get that, we take the inner numbers and the outer numbers, take their product, so 24x would equal 32. Therefore, x would be 32 over 24, which is 4 over 3. So in other words, for each gallon, it travels 4 over 3 miles. So our answer for this question is choice D. We're on problem number 4 from the official guide, 2015. Here we have a number of measurements. First, we have cases which contains cartons. And we have boxes. Which contains paper clips. So we need to work with this units. Now one case contains C number of cartons and one carton contains B number of boxes and one box contains 100 paper clips. So let's work from the backwards. We need to multiply 100 by B in order to get the number of paper clips in B number of boxes. So we get 100 B. And this is how many paper clips that are in one carton. Now if we want to get C, we need to multiply this by C, which gives us 100 B C. And this is B C number of boxes. And this is C number of cartons. And this is how many paper clips that are in one case. And we're looking at two cases, right? So we need to multiply this whole thing by two again. And we get 200 BC. And this is 2 BC number of boxes. And this is 2 C cartons. And it's two cases. So in two cases, there are 200 BC number of paper clips. So the right answer is choice C.